When you try to update iPadOS 18 on your iPad, do you receive a pop-up like unable to check for updates? For some people, the update process becomes difficult because of this, but don't worry, you are not the only one who encounters this problem. Let's solve this problem today. To ensure a smooth iPad system upgrade, here are the preparations you need to make before the update. One, network. You need a stable internet connection to update the iPad system, so make sure your device is connected. In addition, it is recommended to use Wi-Fi instead of cellular data because it is faster and more stable. Two, memory. Normally, system updates will take up the phone's memory. If your iPad has less than 20 G of memory before the update, we recommend that you clean up the phone's memory first. Three, power. iPad system updates consume a lot of power, especially for large updates. Power is particularly important, so you can charge the device before the update or connect it to the charger and run the update. After you are ready to upgrade, you can choose the first method to check for iOS 18 updates by using iTunes. However, there is a risk of data loss when updating through iTunes, so please proceed with caution. Launch iTunes or Finder on your computer. Connect your iPad to your computer using a USB data cable. Wait for Finder to recognize your iPad. Click the iPad icon on the left, tap on Summary. In the Summary tab, find the Check for Updates button and click it. If an update is available, Finder will display the details of the iPadOS 18 update. Review the information carefully to make sure it is the correct version you want to install. Then follow the on-screen instructions to install it. If your device is ready for the update but still can't update properly, and you don't want to use iTunes to erase the data of your device, then you should try AnyFix. This software is a one-stop solution to fix various iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, iTunes issues in minutes. It allows your iPad to be updated quickly and efficiently without worrying about data loss. Now you can follow the steps below to fix iPad stuck on software update. Step 1. Free download and launch any fix on your PC or Mac. Then choose system repair. Step 2. Connect your iPad with computer and tick update issues option and click start now button. Step 3. Choose standard repair from the three modes any fix provides click standard repair button. Step 4. Wait for a moment until AnyFix finished its repair journey. After AnyFix completes the system repair process, you should try to install the system update again. All you need to do is follow the instructions on the interface to update your iPad, and now AnyFix supports iPadOS 18. Choose Upgrade Downgrade iOS, then click one click to upgrade iOS iPadOS, and tap on Start Now. AnyFix will download the latest version of the firmware on your computer, Click on the download and then tap on upgrade to go to the next step. During the whole process, please keep your iPad connected to your computer. Now you need to wait for a while. Once AnyFix finished the update process, you will see the upgrade completed on your computer. AnyFix can fix most iPad or iPhone system problems, in addition to directly upgrading or downgrading your iPad to any iOS version you want. We have also listed its other features. One, it can fix 150 plus iPhone problems and three repair modes are provided to choose from based on the specific problem. Two, it makes every effort to ensure you can fix unable to verify update iOS 18 with the highest success rate. Three, it's compatible with almost all iOS models and iOS versions, including the latest iPhone 16 series and iOS 18. Four, what's more, it can solve 200 plus iTunes errors with simple clicks. Thanks for watching if you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.